I feel I'm feeling that that I did a little a little damage. Fuck! Bro! Hello guys, it's your boy Nesto and welcome back to another Outrise video. And today I want to bring you a little update that I have on my Lava Leech Eruption build. Definitely, I consider this the Giga Shad Eruption build. And I want to show you what I've been doing, what I plan to do with this build uh, moving forward. I'm slowly progressing throughout the game. I still don't have my apocalyptic gear that I want. If you see my previous video on this build, it's basically still the same. I changed a couple months here and there, uh, but it basically is same same uh, gear uh and slightly less talents uh changes around and obviously with the packs uh pack system and ascension definitely you even become more powerful all right so let's start with the gear and i'm using the lava leaf set and you want to have the first three slot with the lava leaf gear set not only the lava leech gives you 100 percent increased damage by the rotten it also decreases the cooldown by 30 percent and the reason why you want the first three uh, slow with the lava leech set is because each one of them comes with anomaly powers status effect and also skill light leech Which is definitely needed uh, For this build remember in the lava leech set you don't have the facility like a carry to gain uh, Easy anomaly power sources with heat wave this you have to really Word yourself up in build to do build ups and you would it's definitely rewarding at the end once you have uh, all that power in your hands now, now for the mods I have Ancient and Champion, basically it gives you another sort of anomaly power, increases by 100% if you hit uh, 5 targets because uh, each target that you hit with your face min increases by 20%, so it stack up for 5 times in 10 seconds, so it's a considerable amount of time of having that buff in. Then you have Edna for another additional eruption. Now I have a Chris stack here because this is the best apocalyptic drop that I have gotten so far. It's not really, I'm not really fan of it. I don't, I really don't want it there, but I figured since it's the only drop that I had, there's something that gives me anomaly. Why not have it in the meantime as a placeholder? But I want other things in there. Now in the chest, I have pure power for more powerful phaser beam, and then I have Giga Blast to increase the radius of the eruption. On the pants, I have improved damage and size matter pretty much come standard, so you, you don't have to really uh, change any mods. Then on the gloves, I have pants on fire to start weakening the enemies once you start popping uh, overheat. It definitely helps. You definitely want to weaken the enemy before they get to you. And then I have ours and anomaly that increases your anomaly power by 200,000 plus by hitting critical shots. So this blends in with one of the talents that I have in my gun uh, and definitely you want to have anomaly power status power and in this case you want cooldown reduction to slap some of the st stuff in here so you don't have to spend it on the nuts in the tree when I show it to you in a second then you have the boots uh, I have Pompeii to have an, an, an additional uh, eruption uh, and then turn out the heat to have two overheats on that skill in terms of the weapons uh i'm missing the mythos to have omen and also firestorm very powerful mod on the third mod not sure which one i want yet definitely not freezing bullets uh but this is more like a play ho holder when i'm i'm fighting like the last boss in the trials where it stands still so the beam can definitely do damage while i'm focusing doing other things uh and also had the guillotine to debuff and also do aod damage when if I feel like I'm in downtime or I don't have my uh, skill ready, I, had, I need something to pop real quick. The guillotine uh, also helps. And then I have for my gun, I have the bordering. This is my main gun. I use sidearms because you cast faster. And not only that, you stack up some of the stuff because of the rate of fire. Uh, and also the reload time is, is slightly uh, less compared to like LMG and stuff like that. Uh, I have Fortress, of course you need it for any Anomaly Power build. Mage Rage, which is one of the best talents right now for any Anomaly Power builds because it gives you up to 40% Anomaly Power by doing critical shots. So this basically stacks with anomaly, uh, Arms and Anomaly, so while you're buffing yourself up with Mage Rage, you're also proccing 
I'm just an anomaly. Uh, and then you have two deaths all, uh, do us apart, which is another sort of uh, life leech uh, or regen. So while you're facing and doing headshots, you can kind of face tank a little bit to buff yourself up. Does damage, it comes with it. Uh, I don't think there's any, any other sign arms that I want that have any other talents. So for, I think for this build, was perfectly fine. Uh, so you have those. Uh, but the, the highlight here is the Mage Rage to pretty much gain a bunch of anomaly power uh, in your build. Now, uh, in terms of the skills, basically the rotation that I do is two overheats. I do the face of me for do damage, but also buff myself as well. And then pop all the eruptions and then come back to the overheat and keep doing the same thing over and over. Sometimes you would not have the 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 overheat uh, up, maybe the face of me will be uh, up, so just use it so it will reset eventually. You always want to be in cooldown. Now, as far as the class tree, very straightforward. Uh, I went all the way all the way down in a normal tree. You want to have that great place. You want to spec all the nuts in damage. And the only nut for now is uh, the word place. Now, you only want to have at least one cooldown reduction here. Uh, which basically when I get to 75 probably is gonna be uh, changed to meltdown to do more damage to uh, targets that are on fire uh, but for now you at least need one here now in terms of the packs see if you are level 50 you don't have your, your gear yet chase that arsonist uh, because basically not only you get more cooldown uh, reduction with conduction but you also have the 30% chance to reset all your skills uh, and it's very noticeable so if you are not high level we'll say like close to 60 you definitely might need to rock arsonist for now to make it more stressful in terms of like not having downtime you cannot have downtime on your skills otherwise you don't kill you don't heal back right so definitely spec into arsonist until you get higher level and then switch up to trigger sequence which buff all your abilities uh, explosive by uh, 25 percent each trigger so it stacks three times so the, the third ability is gonna be hitting at 75 percent more damage not only that since you have face the beam which is considered an ignite skill it doesn't interfere with this stack up so that's why i do two two overheats and then you have the 50 percent so the uh the eruption will get the 75 percent then you, you you basically buff up to do more damage with the overheat. So it kind of works like a ping pong where overheat is throwing the ball to a Russian, then a Russian throwing the ball to, to overheat. So you can constantly do uh, damage for different purposes. For example, weakening the, uh, all the trash uh, trash mobs in the room, but also AOEing when you are close into you know any, any pack of enemies. In terms of the ascension you definitely want to start uh on the anomaly but i will start with anomaly damage and then cooldown reduction and then uh anomaly power those three at least first and then work yourself up on the other ones um uh, because uh you want to have anomaly damage and anomaly power first remember guys the lavaly set is not like that carry you can easily do uh, a few heat wave and you have a bunch of anomaly power this you have to work yourself up building up with the facing beam with the more with your guns you have to be very active in this build it's very high octane so think about when you're driving a car is you drive manual versus driving automatic uh this 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 build basically falls into driving the manual so it's more engaging you feel like you're in control so so it feels rewarding at the end when you are in top of the damage charts uh, because you know that you're doing all the work doing all the damage so basically you can flex and uh, say i'm the giga chat of pyromancer this is definitely a giga chat build it's not for the beginner but if you have plenty of pyromancer experience definitely give it a try it's fun now in terms of, of what i want to do is basically get all the apocalyptic gear with um mods that i already have on the on, on my set so i can just test out different mods so you don't want to have like a mod like chris tag right which basically is not that impressive i mean it's better than having nothing i guess but 
you want to have mods that, uh, for example here, like Giga Blast on your third. So when you want to start testing stuff, you can easily swap mods instead of just praying for RNGs to get the piece that you want. And then at the end, oh, this is not the mod that I, it's not working as I thought it would. So you want to have the third mod as a, basically a basic mod like Size Matter, Pants on Fire, level one mod or something similar. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below, leave a like, if you haven't subscribed, hit that button, it's free. And click that notification bell too, you know, every time I upload content on my channel. So I stream every night, if you want, you know, uh, pass by, say hi, go on to my Twitch, it's the same name as my YouTube channel. And I'm planning to update some other builds in the future, so stay tuned to uh, until I all of those uh, updated builds that I have on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!